It's an ugly offense through five games. It really is. Yeah, I mean, they've they've scored 106 and they've allowed 104. I mean, they, they, they're they're playing basically. I mean, you watch biters. some of these teams in the league and they Outside just go up and down game. the field, up and down the field, and play, I mean. That's just look, not the way they're going to That's just not belt. the way they're going to be. Yeah. They're not going to win games that way. You do watch they're some gonna teams They're going to win games this way. Yep. But then you also see teams like the Tennessee Titans who got sacked 11 times by the Ravens. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying every team is explosive. I'm just saying this is an ugly offense. There's plenty of ugly offenses in the NFL. But this is the way they're going to win games. I'd give them a Ball little more control, credit. It yeah. doesn't sound like you're giving them that much turnovers. credit. Creating turnovers. I think it's I think, I think it's you got to give them a little more credit. You have no Chris Thompson who was your leading receiver. You have no James Crowder, your number one slot receiver. They did enough offensively. And the defense, as bad as they looked against New Orleans Saints, if you just look overall, look if, if you if you said before the game, the defense is going to hold them to 17 points, you'd think you're going to win the game, right? Sure. And Absolutely. So you can nitpick certain things on defense. I know that Pete Medhurst was talking about this in Washington Football Wake Up. It is true. Preston Smith. And Cakes is going to say contract year. And Ryan Kerrigan, they're not getting sacks. They're not getting home. But you give up 17 points, you hold a team that's averaged 154 yards rushing to half of what they normally get rushing the football. Yeah. And it looked like early on when McCaffrey has his first two rushes mm-hmm. that they were going to have a big rushing game. He was getting game. chunks early. But they figured out a way to shut him down. He I ended up with just 20 I yards. I give him credit for winning the game, but it's an ugly offense. Oh, there's no doubt about that. It just is. They're winning ugly. They've gotten the three wins by winning ugly. That, yeah. That's that's the formula with Alex Smith and quarterback. It just I is. mean, when your quarterback throws for 160 yards. Yeah, I mean, this is not I mean, the, this is not the Alex when Smith you don't in score a touchdown City. in the second half. Yeah, I mean, it's just ugly. But they got the win, and I'll give credit to them. Big drive in the fourth quarter after the Carolina Panthers get within three points. You're starting to think, oh no. And it would have been nice if it was a touchdown drive, but there's about eight and a half minutes left. They get the ball back. They put together a 10-minute drive, I mean, a 10-play drive that eats up a lot of clock. They have to settle for a field goal. Hmm. Dustin Hopkins delivers. But that really was the difference because Carolina moved into field goal range, but they needed a touchdown. Correct. And in that on that last play, even though Kerrigan's not getting home, Kerrigan did push the lineman into Cam's arm. What was that play? I didn't like the play. It looked like an out pattern. It just looked like it had no shot of being completed. And it was. They wasn't. ran a lot of comebacks and outs. Yeah. Like it was, long routes. It, the the Norv Turner offense is different than a lot of the offenses you see in the league now, which are three step drop, five step drop, balls out of the hand. Mm-hmm. He's got receivers running long comeback patterns. Yeah, and, and I was surprised that they were able to contain McCaffrey in the run game because McCaffrey's had some pretty big games. In the he run has. Game. <laughs> I was stunned by that. 20 yards rushing, by far his lowest output of the year. Yeah. I mean, did, did McCaffrey have 15? Yeah, they like to get him the ball a lot more than that. Yeah. But, you know, give credit to the Skins' defense. Uh, they were a big part of this victory, and that sets up a huge game against the Cowboys. Just a monster with the Cowboys coming. And to again, town. you don't know what to expect in the NFL. Did yeah. anybody expect you know that result from the Cowboys Jags game? No, no, no. impossible. I mean, now Bortles is terrible. He is. He's, he's awful. Really bad. Um, and but they credit need, they, Dak and that they offense. They need a legitimate run game to to win games. But you know, I did not expect that. Dak and, ran for yeah. eighty plus yards himself. Probably his best game of the year. And then Cole Beasley. I guess they finally figured out. You know what? We just don't have great outside receivers. We're just gonna. Feed it to Cole Beasley. Right. Plus, you you, you stay away from Jalen Ramsey in a good chunk of that game by going to your slot receiver. So, give the Cowboys credit for coming up with a good game plan. So, I mean, I could not believe the, when I saw the updates on that game. I mean, it was, it was kind of shocking. But, again, we said this last week, the NFL is just schizo. Yeah, I, I can't figure it out. I mean, the Bears was one of the best defenses in the league. Lose to Brock Osweiler. I said during the pregame yesterday, go and liquidate everything you have and bet it on the Bears just to win. I mean, I'm. it's uncanny for me this year. I said it with the Vikings-Bills game, and I, I doubled down yesterday with the Bears-Dolphins on the news that Osweiler is getting the start. You're 0 for 2. 0 for 2. I would, I would, uh, what you would have called back in the day, debtor's prison. I'm so bitter I wasn't brave enough to pick the Redskins. Yeah, I couldn't do it either. Because it just felt like one of those games where they surprise you. But this is the thing. Jason said this last week. 
And I wonder if Redskins fans feel the same way. 800-636-1067 if you want to chime in. You said last week they're going to go 6-6 six and six the rest of the way. I feel so like that. they win this game, and they've got Dallas and the Giants. EB said both those games are winnable, and I agree. They're winnable games. Dallas looked great yesterday, but they're not an overwhelming team. Their passing offense usually struggles mightily. I think they'll go one and two. They could win Dallas, and everybody's going to be excited because they'll be four and two. And then they'll go to New York, who they should be. You mean beat. they'll go one and one in the next Yeah, game. yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And, and then they'll, uh, they'll face the Giants, and they'll lose. That's or it'll the, be the other way around. Yeah, that's the way I feel. They'll lose Unless to they Dallas, can figure out ways to, every to score week. points consistently, especially yeah. through the passing game. I think that they they will go about five hundred down the down the road. Well, you'd hope because they figure out the formula got, you, because you're not going to be able to keep teams to seventeen no, points every week. Unless it's again, unless it's one of these high powered offenses, they're going to be in dog fights in basically every game. Yeah, 